Let's talk first about, uh, before we get into the cars, which I definitely want to hit on, obviously, what about Donald Trump's executive order? Are you concerned about uh, that? Does it affect your company at all? Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, we are an export company, and that means at the end of the day, we need free and fair, uh, fair trade. So ha do you have any plans in place in order to try and work around in case there's a border tax, for example? Uh, at the end of the day, we also have to see our limits. Yeah, We cannot influence political decisions. So we have to make the company stronger with better products products which have got the desire, which are special for the customer with outstanding designs. And that is our reaction. We will make even better products. We'll talk about those in a second. You're doing that. You're having tremendous success at Jaguar. But uh, most people think instantly of Great Britain when they think of Jaguar. And Brexit right now must be a more pressing concern. How are you going to work around Brexit? In principle, it's quite similar. Uh, we have to make sure that our uh, cars are in high desire. And then we will uh, also manage every and each issue. However, it's also quite clear, Europe is for Czech Land Rover the most important uh, um, uh, market. And that means that we not only sell finished goods into Europe, but we also buy components, parts out of Europe for around about 600,000 units we are producing in the UK. Given that, we need free and fair trade. So what about the plants? What about the production? Do you have any special agreements with the British government? Do you think they can offer you something? I mean, you have to stay, obviously, but concessions are being made to other car makers. Uh, we don't see any concessions and we, we have a fixed operational footprint and we cannot change operational uh, footprints quickly. Therefore, the product has to decide and at the end of the day, the customer will decide. All right, so let's talk about that product right now. Uh, your new F-Pace uh, has met with tremendous success. Uh, a number of the Jaguar products are growing rapidly. I mean, we're talking about doubling of growth in some months. Um, can you sustain that kind of growth? We have a very good product portfolio, and you're right. F-Pace uh, was a, or is an absolutely market success. But also today at the Geneva Motor Show, we are going to reveal two new revolutionary concepts, the Range Rover Velar and the I-Pace from Czechia. And is that, your, is that your plan then to sustain that kind of growth and also to help Range Rover catch up with Jaguar? Because I know Range Rover or Land Rover, um, better put, hasn't quite kept up with the growth at Jaguar. Last year we grew by 77% on the Jaguar side, not with that kind of strong growth on the Land Rover side. But why? We changed from the discovery to the new modern discovery. And in addition, as you know, we stopped the production of the Defender. But also this year, you will see growth on the Land Rover side. And behind you, look, it's a new vehicle which really has design excellence, a new design language, modernity and elegance. And even an inner value with the kind of technology we call Blade. Blade serves you like a butler. And this, this kind of technology will also increase growth. But I also have to say it's not just growth for the sake of growth. Due to the fact that we are in the premium business, we deliver outstanding vehicles for the customer. We do not do ordinary, and therefore we really want to grow sustainable. Uh, so we're, look, we're standing here in front of the new Discovery. It seems to be almost encroaching on Range Rover territory, the amount of luxury, the amount of technology in the vehicle. Do you still need to have these two separate brands? Uh, we only have one brand. So the top brand is Land Rover. And below Land Rover, you have three legs, the Range Rover, the Discovery, and the Defender. And you will see that all of these legs will get more products. Defender uh, it would be great to see more of that. I mean, the outgoing car was an absolute classic cult hit. Um, people must be yearning for it. I'm sure they ask you every time they see you. Yes, they ask every time, but it's quite clear the new Defender will become even better, more connected, uh, more uh, safer, cleaner, and unbelievably capable. Let's talk about uh, the sales in Europe, the situation as far as the European economy is concerned. What do you expect for this year? Because everything seems to be firing on all cylinders as far as the economy and the auto sector. 
I'm cautiously optimistic that uh, Eurobots is going to grow this year, not only continental Europe, but also the UK. So I guess we will see good results here. How about in China? Uh, there have been a few more stumbling blocks there, although obviously tremendous growth and tr uh, tremendous growth pr potential. Um, how has the situation looked to you right now? China is growing and is continuing to grow, yes, on a um, reduced uh, ration, uh, relative uh, GDP growth rate of around about 6 to 7 percent, but still enough. It's a huge country with a huge basis, and therefore we see also very good perspectives in, the, in China. They d demand, Chinese customers demand big discounts. Um, we've heard some anecdotes of other premium brands offering up to 25% discounts. Do you have to go into that kind of rebate territory in order to get a bigger foothold in the market? No, we don't want to go in this kind of territory. What about selling into the big cities and then into the tier two and tier three cities? I mean, how important is it for you to really get in and sort of infect China with the Jaguar Land Rover brand? China is the biggest market. Uh, therefore, it's very important also for Czech Oil Land Rover. But Czech Oil Land Rover still has a very limited dealer network. And therefore, for us, there are huge growth opportunity, opportunities in growing the network and then also growing the opportunity uh, to sell more cars in the cities, but also now tier two, tier three, and go uh, more to the west. All right, let's finally talk about the U.S. We, we touched on the border tax and the issues with President Trump's executive order, but what about growth there? Uh, are you optimistic for economic growth in the U.S., especially for your brands? U.S. was already on a high last year, and I'm pretty sure that, uh, but I cannot read in the crystal ball, but I'm pretty sure that we will see continuous growth also in the U.S. this year. What, what, kind, of, what kind of numbers are we, are we talking about? Uh, I think that Czech uh, Land Rover will be very successful. We have a very good team there, and I trust that the team will uh, grow over proportionally.